There are billions of bacteria inside of your test tube that contains your bacteria, and we want to make sure that we can see individual colonies when we plate the bacteria on the auger plates. If we were to simply plate directly from the bacterial culture directly onto the plate, we would most likely see a lot of bacteria on our plate instead of individual colonies. To prevent this from happening, we carry out serial dilutions so that we are minimizing the amount of bacteria that are seen on a plate so that we can actually see the individual colonies. Serial dilutions can often be confusing, but they are also a crucial step in the experiment. With that being said, it is really important that you know how to carry out this step to the best of your ability. Similar to that of the bead transfers, it is a complex process and can be completed more easily when working together. Once the old bead has been transferred into a small 1 milliliter PBS tube and vortex for 45 seconds, briefly vortex the tube again by holding the tube and placing your finger on the top of the cap and pushing down on the vortex for 3 seconds. Once one student has finished vortexing the small PBS tube, another should use the P200 to transfer 50 microliters of the liquid from the small 1 milliliter PBS tube into the 5 milliliter PBS tube labeled 10 negative 2. Eject the tip and place a 10 negative 2 tube into the rack. Get a new pipette tip and repeat this process, this time transferring 50 microliters from the 5 milliliter PBS tube labeled 10 negative 2 into the 5 milliliter PBS tube labeled 10 negative 4. On day zero, when you are creating competition cultures, you will stop your dilutions at 10, negative 4. However, on days 3, 5, and 7, it is necessary to dilute one step further. This time, using the P1000 in the correct tips, you will transfer 500 microliters from the tube labeled 10, negative 4 into the 4.5 milliliter PBS tube labeled 10, negative 5.